what do you see? A 6th century statue from the Tang Dynasty, beautifully preserved in a world-class art museum. Yet your curiosity goes deeper. You wonder what type of environment can safely maintain a museum piece that's over 1,300 years old. While others admire, you see more. You see an operating room, yet you ask additional questions. If a patient with a contagious disease were to undergo an operation, how would the room be treated to protect the next patient? While others focus on the immediate, you see more. You see the ice that's center stage in a large arena, a frozen surface where professional hockey teams play and figure skaters entertain. Yet you question how this ice stays frozen. You look for signs of melting, but see none. How is this maintained? While others sit back and watch, you see more. From the art museum to the ice arena, these environments require technical service experts in HVACR, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Men and women who design, install, and maintain the mechanical systems used to control temperature, humidity, and total indoor air quality across a multitude of environments. And you share many of their aptitudes. You've always had a strong mechanical dexterity able to work hands-on and solve problems that others can't. At the same time, you can find answers buried deep within complex problems, like the service technicians of the United Association of Journeymen and Apprentices of the Plumbing and Pipe Fitting Industry, you see more. Commonly known as the UA, we represent approximately 350,000 plumbers, pipe fitters, sprinkler fitters, and service technicians in North America and beyond. We're a multi-craft union who is proud of our close relationship with the diversity of UA contractors and employers. We have been skillfully training apprentices in the pipe trades for 125 years. Would you like to see more of the essential tasks that UA service technicians perform? Do you have an affinity with this type of work? Let's take an inside look, starting at a world-renowned art museum. Did you know that fluctuations in temperature and humidity can severely damage artwork? At this art museum, HVACR systems are used to control the environment in a way that best preserves its art and artifacts. Each piece of art has an optimal state of temperature, humidity, and air pressure one at which it can be displayed or stored without suffering damage. For example, if the relative humidity level in this room climbs too high, the canvas of this oil painting would warp and the paint would crack. Or if the humidity level varied in this room, all of these medieval tapestries could crumble into nothing more than dust. UA-trained HVACR technicians constantly monitor and manipulate the museum's environment balancing it against the outside weather and the number of people moving through the museum, helping to keep history alive and allowing for it to be shared and appreciated by generations to come. This appears to be a standard hospital recovery room, but an HVACR service technician sees it as much more. It is actually a negative pressure room designed to house patients with contagious diseases. It includes a UA-installed ventilation system that generates negative pressure, allowing air to flow into the isolation room but not escape from it, preventing any contaminated air from endangering other patients in the same hospital. Did you know that ambient temperature in an operating room needs to be maintained between 55 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit? Or that the relative humidity level should be kept at 60%? All of these responsibilities, and much more, fall under the control of HVACR mechanical systems and are essential to the safe operation of today's hospitals and medical facilities. Did you know that ice has different densities depending on how it's used? Hockey requires that ice be kept at 20 to 22 degrees Fahrenheit, while figure skating requires ice to be maintained at 24 to 26 degrees. And if the air in the arena reaches too high a dew point, 
the ice won't freeze properly and fog will hover over the ice. It's up to HVACR technicians to maintain the proper temperature and humidity levels, keeping the ice just right at major sporting arenas. Did you know that nuclear power plants are some of the most sophisticated energy systems ever designed? And that their cooling system is the most important mechanism in the entire facility? The thermal energy from the reactor core is removed by the cooling system and transferred to boilers for conversion to steam. But if the heat generated by the reactor exceeds the heat removed by the cooling system, a nuclear meltdown can occur. It's highly trained HVACR service technicians that take the responsibility for preventing the unimaginable from happening, with advanced systems and safeguards to monitor and maintain some of the most advanced cooling systems in existence. How can you learn these same skills? Ones that combine your mental aptitude for learning complex systems with your natural ability to handle hands-on work Right now, the UA is seeking qualified applicants for its world-class Service Technician Apprenticeship Training Program. As a UA apprentice, you'll spend five years dedicated to learning your trade, both in the classroom and on the job. This is more than just another four-year college degree. This is an actual apprenticeship program, where what you learn in the classroom is reinforced in the field every day, bridging the gap between knowing and doing. The apprenticeship is free, there is no tuition, and therefore no debt when you're finished. Plus, every year as an apprentice, your earned wages will increase. Not only do you learn more each year, but you will earn more as well. In the classroom, you'll learn mathematics, applied physics, microelectronics, and mechanical drawing using the latest in digital technology. And you'll apply your knowledge to actual systems and services learning proper techniques while following stringent safety, electric and mechanical codes and EPA regulations. You'll also receive the benefits of a true long-term rewarding career, such as an actual pension, retirement package, health benefits and even more. You have every reason to consider the UA apprenticeship as a viable option for your future and there's never been a better time than now to apply. You'll do more, you'll see more in five years of UA Service Technician Apprenticeship Training than you could ever imagine. Finally, emerging with the highly sought after status of a certified journey worker. You see the big picture. You see farther. You see more. And we see you among us.